Hi, my name is Lady Pruitt and welcome to Let's Talk. So I am continuing my talk on great reads. These are books that I read usually on the plane or when I'm traveling. So there is a book that I wanna to talk to you about today. Ordinarily, I am not into psychological thrillers, but, and I mean but, this book was absolutely amazing. My daughter, actually got me to read it you know and she had at first when she told me psychological girl i was like eh, i'm not too sure about that but she said mom i promise you you're gonna love this book well she was absolutely right oh my gosh the name of the book and it has a very catchy title is called my sister the serial killer my sister the serial killer and the author is and i'm probably gonna butcher her name it's oyinkan breathwaite and oh my goodness, this was her debut book, but it was absolutely amazing. And I will tell you this, it's a very short book. The chapters are about a page, a page and a half maybe to two pages, and you will not be able to put this book down. And once you pick up this book, you will probably read it, I say within a couple of hours, you'll have the whole book read because it's just such an amazing, amazing story. So anyway, the book is about two sisters and uh, one is called Uyala and the other one's Korede and they're Nigerian. So forgive me my Nigerian sisters if I mispronounce the name. But anyway, the book is so, so good. So these two sisters have this bond and um, Oyula, is very, very beautiful, described as very beautiful. And Karede is kind of like the smart sister that works at a hospital. And Oyula doesn't seem to understand this effect that she has on men. So anyway, it follows her relationship for some reason. And even when the very beginning of the book, you find out that somehow her boyfriend died. And this is something that continues to happen. Her boyfriends seem to die and she accidentally kills them. So anyway, um, the relationship between the two sisters is so interesting because the sis, she always calls her sister when she's in trouble and her sister actually comes to the rescue. So, and I'm gonna give you a few spoiler alerts because I really love this book. Um, when she, when we first start out and she kills the first boyfriend, she calls the sister and the sister actually comes and she helps her clean up because she works at a hospital. She knows like what ingredients she, uh, to put together, to be able to, um, clean it up without leaving any, um, any mess or residue. So anyway, she helps her with that. But as we go on, we find out that she, the sister continually, starts to kill her boyfriends and her other sister Karede always comes to her rescue for some reason and we it's the the dynamic of trying to understand this relationship you know it does go back a little bit to their childhood in their childhood they tend to um the family always kind of caters to her you look she's a pretty one the mom's always kind of asking the sister, you know, you gotta kind of take care of your sister. And um, Karede, who's kind of the smart one, who's um, an, uh, works at the hospital, even when she falls in love with a doctor at the hospital, she tries so hard not to bring her sister around. She doesn't want her sister to come around because she knows that once um, people see her, they tend to fall for her. So of course, Oyula, like in true fashion she goes to the hospital and she kind of steals the boyfriend even though it wasn't quite the boyfriend but you'll see that relationship in the in the book so anyway so now the doctor falls the doctor that um Coretta liked now falls madly in love with Oyula so she falls for her and now of course there's that tension between the two sisters because she has taken the one thing that she really wanted. Um, so, but anyway, the book takes a lot of twists and turns. Um, you'll get to understand the relationship with the father and the, the relationship between the father and the mother, the relationship between the father and the daughters. It is such a great read. You must, must, must put this one on your list. Even if you're not into psychological thrillers, this one 
is amazing um but it's you know and you won't feel like you're, you're reading a gory horror story or anything like that it's just a great story written so so well and so simply but there's so much so much to the story even within the simplicity of how it's written so again you must put on your list my sister the serial killer by uh the last name of the author is breath weight breath white so anyway I'm going to leave it in your hands. It's a must read. You will thank me for it. So again, thank you again for tuning in to Let's Talk. Join me next week when we're going to talk about something else. Bye-bye.